Hi folks, this is a recording about how to use the UI Compressor MS Build Task with a simple MVC3 app. So, let's start out by just getting the default templates all started. Bang, 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 off we go. Yep. And I'll add you in there anyway. Alright, so this will create us a pretty stock standard website, nothing hard there. What's important is we've got some CSS and some jQuery which we'll use to minify and compress and stuff. So, okay, let's get rid of you. So the first thing we need to do is add the MS build package. So let's go to online up here, my compressor, and it's the MS build task. Not that one, but this one down there. Okay, we add that bad boy. Cool, done. All right. The next thing to take note is if we do, we have to show all files. We want the bin directory, but it's empty. So let's do a build, build solution. It does that and it adds in the package stuff. If I hit refresh, there we go. So it's important to see that that's in there and those guys are in there, especially the MS build task. Now the next thing is we have to create an XML file. So I usually just do this, add new folder and just say MS build and I add the file inside there. Uh, whatever we call it, do it, .xml, I don't care. Now you can put this XML file anywhere you want, doesn't really matter, but it is important to notice where it's located in regards to the content, which you want to do, as well as the scripts, which I'll explain all in a sec. So now <clears throat> let's grab some sample code, something I did earlier. Bang. Okay, let's have a look here. The first thing to make, take note is the using task. We have to make sure that we're using the MS build task DLL. This is um, in relation to where the XML file is. So the XML file is here. It's one level down from the root. So you go up one level, which is to the root, the root directory. And then we go inside the bin directory. And inside the bin, there's the task there. Very important you determine where the um, path is. The path is always related to where the XML file is, not where MS build is, where the XML file is. Next, I then create whatever CSS and whatever J JS that I need to you know, do all my stuff to. Once more, take note, this is in relation to where the XML file sits. The XML file sits. So the XML file is here. We go up one level to the root. We then go into content, and then we go to site. Rinse, repeat. Lastly, <clears throat> in this section here, I've just said, all right, put the output of the CSS into there and put the output of the JS into there. Once more, take note of the, uh, the path. That's about it, really. Save that. Saved. I then open up um, the Visual Studio command prompt. There we go there. Let's have a look at our projects. Okay, so there's our MVC2. So MVC12. DIR. Okay, MVC2. Okay, so here I am here. I can uh, run MS Build anywhere I want. I've just put it in here only because it's really easy to get access to the path. Otherwise, I'll be doing blah 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 slash 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 slash. So let's have a look here. MS Build, which is actually MS Build EXE, same thing. MS MS Build, and then I'll do do it run, and that, my friend, is how you do it. Enjoy. Thank you.